Unused and misused prescription drugs can be the target of thieves and the source of drug addictions. To safely get rid of those medications, Maine law enforcement agencies are teaming up for a national drug take back day this month. It's expected to be the largest collection of unwanted or expired drugs ever in Maine and around the nation. Adrian Bennett reports. Since 2008, the Maine Drug Enforcement Agency has collected three tons, that's 6,000 pounds of prescription drugs through their mail-in disposal program. These are just a sample, and they're the focus of a nationwide effort. It is a public health and a public safety issue. Federal, state, and local officials have announced September 25th as Drug Take Back Day. Take back the safety of our streets. In Maine, nearly 90 law enforcement agencies have signed up to help take back unused and expired prescription drugs before they get into the wrong hands. According to the Director of National Drug Control Policy, prescription drug abuse is the nation's fastest growing drug problem. Prescription drugs are the number one source of crime in Maine, according to the Attorney General. The number of homicides that we prosecute relating to prescription drugs is on the rise. At least six in the last 18 months. People are killing each other over prescription drugs. Pharmacy robberies, home invasions, and assaults over these drugs are common, but Public Safety Commissioner Ann Jordan says people are finding even more disturbing ways to get their fix. Burglaries occurring on the days of funerals. People breaking into the homes of the deceased to steal their painkillers and their prescription drugs. Cleaning up the problem will take more than the law, though. We cannot arrest our way out of the system. But by having the people of Maine getting rid of drugs that they no longer need, you're helping us. There will be more than 100 drop-off locations. It's free and no questions will be asked, with the hope that this may be the answer to at least part of the problem. Adrian Bennett, WABI-TV5 News, Augusta.